man, look at that. I met Volt Catfish already. There we go. Figured, already got everything in the level, so I may as well just get getting back to Volt, Volt Catfish out of the way. There's no need to really show me going after Volt Catfish again all through the entire stage, right? So, yeah, I'll do it this way. Oh, God. I hate you. I hate that attack. It's, it feels so unavoidable. The only thing I hate about you now compared to your previous fight. At least you don't do the thing where you stay in the middle of the stage and electrocute yourself so you're invincible. And then I can't do anything to you and I just have to wait for you to stop being invincible so I actually damage you. At least you don't do that anymore. Which is appreciated. Although, instead, he does this. He just fires a lot of electricity out. But you can still hurt him during. So it's not that big a deal. Thank goodness, you're really not as bad. Ugh. Thanks for the DNA, by the way. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow, let's play Mega Man Extreme 2. This is your host, the MJ406. And now I beat Volt Catfish. I got the Tri Thunder. It just looks like a single electric ball now. You know, Tri Thunder doesn't sound as good when you just have it be an electric ball. The Tri Thunder was actually a pretty decent weapon in Mega Man X3. Did you ruin it? Jeez. Oh, by the way, after you beat two Mavericks, you get a cutscene with whoever the hell this is. A female Maverick? Wow! Whoa, 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 it's not, 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 not that cool. Come on. They have been very entertaining. It is unwise to allow them to act on this island. They should be terminated immediately. Not yet. I want the data on the Maverick Hunters. The more they fight, the stronger they would become. Thus, better data would be acquired. We have acquired enough DNA cells. We don't need any more. You must have noticed how dangerous it is to fight both of them at the same time. True. It is too dangerous to fight them at once. Let's enjoy watching them for a while. One of the Guardians may get lucky and destroy them. It is very unlikely that part of you say so. Did Volt Catfish do it earlier? He's done now. Ah, oh, I can hardly wait to meet them. <laughs> yeah, a female Maverick? What a... Huh. Weird to see one of them finally show up in a spinoff of all things. If only her being there had any significance. It really doesn't. Okay, well, I just rushed us to get it through Volt Catfish. So now let's get through Flame Mammoth. Hopefully you at least got the leg part for coming here. Because, well, you need the leg part and the head part to get everything in this stage. There's something else I forgot to mention. But I'll mention once I find it. Because, well, it's something else that makes the game harder. Oh, you haven't noticed the uh, blue diamonds before your weapon energy as well as also giving you DNA souls. I think, if I remember correctly, the single packs give you four. I want to say the doubles give you eight. Well, here's a grinding spot for them, by the way. Okay, so the doubles give you eight. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the single ones by themselves give you four. The doubles give you eight, and the triples give you 16. And I know the five packs you get from bosses give you 200. So yeah, that's there for you to know. By the way, I can't do anything there yet. Ow! Even getting there, because I don't have the head part, I can't actually break through there. Oh yeah, by the way, watch out for these freaking fireballs. They're annoying. So, you know, be cautious. That just made me realize something. Well, I can talk about that later. Also, heart fragment. I mean, heart part. Heart tank. Why is it heart fragment? May as well just say heart piece at that point. <laughs> anyway, yep. You got go in the lava. Which, by the way, funny how, well, in this stage in Log 3 and 2, you can't get rid of the lava. So you have to deal with the uh, stage as is. None of the stages you beat prior can get rid of the lava like they could in X1 for taking care of Chill Penguin first. But also, I got the energy tank now. Just a notice. 
That's your only energy tank you're getting is X. Where the previous game had two in each half, four total, Extreme 2 has only one in each half. Ow, two total. Oh, good to know that doesn't kill me. And of course, this stage is very faithful to the X1 incarnation, because why wouldn't it be? Jeez, maybe you sound like I'm really sour to X1. It's not that good! I mean, I may not like it as much as X2 or X4, but it's still really good. Why is this the only why is this the only game that gets unchanged stages? Just out of curiosity. Well then again, you guys haven't seen the uh, X2 stages yet because uh, well they're at zero's half. Enough about that. Let's hurry up and deal with the uh, flame mammoth. Oh hi! I love you don't even like wait for him to show up on screen. He is you just get in the room, he's like, Roar! He's like, alright, we're fighting now. <laughs> like, geez. Please give him time to warm up, dude. Alright, come on, play mammoth. And well, you can still change the direction of the conveyor belt. I mean, that's part of his gimmick. So you better be prepared for him to change the direction of the conveyor belt. Otherwise, you'll be looking like the fool. Damn it, I was hoping he would jump sooner. Oh, God. Watch out when he throws the oil slick on the floor. If I didn't mention X1, well... When he throws the oil slick on the floor, if one of his fireballs hit it, well, it'll ignite. It'll show, throw a giant flame ball at you. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, the bosses take give you a lot more damage this time around. That's what makes Extreme 2 harder, because freaking they're much tankier. And they freaking hit you like a truck. But anyway, now we got the fire wave. Which, well, works for us like it did in X1. And, well, now I can get the part in the Untiger stage of this, so let's go get it. Hmm. You know, I should probably check my parts. Do I have a thousand of these yet? Oh, look at that. Buster plus two. Power shot plus two. Two extra damage per freaking Buster shot. Amazing. We can worry about that later. For now, we gotta go to Neon Tiger. Yep. Gotta finish off Neon Tiger. Oh, excuse me. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I ate not too long ago. But I, I needed it. My throat was feeling like crap at the end of Extreme 1, so I'm glad I ate before I started this off. <sighs> so, do you guys like the stage changes from X3? I mean, I know I have an unfavorable opinion of X3, but I know there are plenty of people that like X3. Like, some people say it's their favorite. I do kind of question it, but, you know... At the end of the day, it still plays like X1, X2, which are highly beloved, or at least X1 is. Then again, don't usually people hear people hate on X2. Then again, most people just reference the first game, because that's probably the one most people play and associate the X series. Boy, the deepest fans know how horrible it gets from there. Like, even the worst games of the series, the X series, have its fans. I know, and some of the p opinions disgust me. And, uh, well... Maybe I have a disparable opinion of X3 compared to most people. Or X5. I know a lot of people like X5, but, well... I'm sorry. I don't. No amount of, uh, plot could save the game from the mess that it is. That game is a mess. X5. It had some nice ideas, but the execution was awful. Again, I'll talk about that when we eventually get the X Legacy Collection a good while from now, but... Just know, I have my reasons for not liking X5. Plot is kind of one of them. And, well, there are reasons for that. But yeah, do you like X5 if you played it? Oh, right. I should probably go to Fire Wave. I forgot, pressing select, I can change my weapon. You can also pause and do it the traditional way. You'd rather do it that way. I did this capsule. Just what I wanted to hear. Take this head upgrade. This head upgrade will give you the ability of the head crush and allow you to crush certain blocks. Yes. I need this. Let's crush blocks. I was about to say I should probably leave this stage and go back to Blame Man, but I forgot I did beat Neon Tiger. Hit! Yeah, don't forget, you gotta hold up and do your air jump to do that. 
your mid your mid air jump you gotta hold up to do the upward dash. Man, I really do like the X part from X3. Now, fortunately, you don't see a leg part that good again until, um, I was going to say X5, actually, but, well, it's kind of stupid how it works in X5. While it's very useful the way it works in X5, it's kind of dumb, too. Basically, the idea of having a mid-air jump make me invincible. Sounds both awesome, and yet somehow a little stupid. At least you ask me. Maybe I'm in the minority. I don't know. Anyway, let's go take down the entire again. I think X6 is a part similar to this, too, though, with its legs. Go ahead, Neon Tiger. Do what you want to do. Oh, having this leg part makes this a lot easier. Oh no, he jumped out. He surprised me. I want to save up my DNA souls for as long as I can. But yeah, like I said, if you wanted to grind up DNA souls, you could always just go to Flame Mammoth stage. All those creatures that come out of the, uh, the factory pipes or whatever, you can take care of it. Wow, that was easy. You just keep grinding on them and keep killing them to grind out DNA souls. You really need them. It's a tiresome process, but if you really want to get all those parts, you can do it that way. Anyway, there we go. I now have the Ray Claw. You know, it's a close-range weapon. You'd think I hate it, but it works surprisingly well for what it's strong against. So, I actually don't have too much of a problem with the Ray Claw in this game. It's not even a ranged weapon. It's like a giant fist. Oh, yeah, we beat all four of the Mavericks, so... Well, cutscene. Frederick, I'll be waiting for you in the Reploid Research Laboratory. How about the lavatory? You know where that is. It's right next to the lavatory. Oh! I think they just mistyped that. <laughs> no shit! I'll put an end to this soon. Wait a second. I believe the lavatory is a very dangerous space. Who cares? I know, but we had to go. Yes, I'm not going to stop you. Just please take this device. With this device, you can execute a player change at any time by pressing select. All right, Iris. I will trust his unknown potential power. Let's go, X. I'll get the DNA souls back. You're going down, Soul Eraser. You say you'll trust his unknown power? What? It... Oh, my God. Hey, I guess it's part of why X6's translation is really bad. But yep, now we can go to this stage. And there's only one of their faces shows up. You can probably tell why. Anyway, any new parts show up? Ooh, Ultimate Saber, Super Slash. Well, I can explain that when we get to zero. How that works. Let's just get the last armor part in a uh, Flame Mammoth stage. Let's go. Oh yeah, I might need to explain what all the uh, parts are if I'm unable to show off some of the parts, because, well, like I said, you have to grind having a lot of DNA souls to reveal you being allowed to get certain parts, which, well, some of them are ridiculous. I just leave it at that. Some of them are ridiculous. Honestly, I kind of want to fill up my E-Tank, too. That's kind of why I'm grinding right now. But yeah, you can do it this way. Here's your grinding method. Just stand here, keep destroying these things, and hope you get drops. I'm getting some good drops right now. But don't worry, I'll stop soon. Okay, my E-Tank's practically full. Give me one more and I'll be good. Okay, it's full now. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I have to shoot them dead, by the way. If they drop in the lava, they're not actually going to drop anything. Just a heads up. Oh, I could have done that too. All right, do the upward dash here. Hope we got the leg part, or else getting up here could be a bitch. Thank goodness for this leg part. That's a nice capsule. Thank this arm upgrade. The upgrade will increase the amount of to be charged. You get shot. Two charge shots in a row. I get shot two of them, yes. The two consecutive shots become a wide shot. Oh my god. This game's translate even worse than the first one. 
shows how much Capcom was caring right in the early 2000s. Now, former and my sprite change. Which, well, check it out. You have the charge shot from X2 and X3. See, this is what we want X3's charge shot to be. You have two strong charge shots on their own. But fire them in rapid succession, you can do the spread. This is what X3 should have been. He takes the best element of both. At least they got that right. And yep, I can leave. Which I should probably save, but I'm not going to. Okay then, I'm gonna do one of the Fortress stages. Before that, let me buy a part. Give me Posture Plus 2. That's the only one I'll buy for now. Actually, um, I'm trying to think. Give me Barrier Extender. Which, by the way, that X there, the X indicates a part you bought or unable to buy. This was a part that I believe cost 2,000 DNA souls if you unlocked it for having a lot on you. This basically allowed you to buy your full armor. So, yeah, but you didn't find all the armor parts, you could just buy it there to give yourself the full armor. Which is only useful for X, by the way. Which reminds me, can I equip my stuff now? Nope. I'll show how the parts work. So let's just do that in this stage. Let's knock this stage out, and I guess we'll end the episode, because I think the end of the game can be a little long if I'm not ready. But yeah, go here, you can go to your parts. You can equip them like this, and that's how you, well, equip them. X can equip four. With full armor on, he can only equip two. And zero can equip three. There are common parts that both can equip, X parts that only X can, and zero parts that only zero can. Controls. I can change it so I can have zero come in or then press the select button, but... You know... I may as well do that, because, well... I don't use that select button to change weapons frequently. At least, to my knowledge, I don't. You got full armor, you got return, and you got the button to switch between zero and X. But having that be the button to switch to on the fly makes it a lot better if you ask me. And you can only do it once you get once you get access to the fortress. But yeah, notice that his shots are red now. They're powerful now. So, oh, they'll wreck. Yeah, and by the way, you can't unequip the armor with X, just a heads up. Look at this. I just do pute. Two or three puny shots. Dead. Like, this thing is incredible! And the barrier extender basically increases my invincibility frames. So, with that, it's going to be hard for them to kill me now. Every time I get hit, I'm invincible for twice as long. Me. Not ride armor. Then again, ride armor doesn't count. You don't take damage with the ride armor. At least I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a sick, twisted joke? Then again, I only question on X4 because something confused me. Oh, man. I will say this. All the Fortress stages are completely unique, but... God, some of them are awful. Some of the stage design choices are just... Ass. Just terrible. Well, screw you. I'm just going to traverse that. I'm not going to wait for you to allow me to kill you. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> Screw you, sir. They got the little laser drones again. From X1. Why well, they have the X2 music from the uh, first two uh, X Hunter stages. Or Counter Hunter, whatever it's called. Anyway, here's our first boss. Ooh, hey! It's Phil Carter! That dog thing from... Uh, Mega Man X1, when you had to fight Sigma. Do I have its weakness? Maybe? Not Fire Wave. No. No. Rayclaw. So if you don't have the Buster... If you don't have the Buster Plus part to increase your Buster shot, use Rayclaw. It makes quick work of them. Oh, look at that. It's basically like I just kept punching him repeatedly. I love it. 
And there we go, I got 200, uh, DNA souls back that I had before. Damn right! And that I should save and continue. And you see I have four armors and four weapons. Not that I only get four of the weapons. I will say this, the weapon system in this game is kind of stupid. <laughs> it's, mm, I get what they were trying to do with, you know, how you get these special weapons, but it's kind of irritating the way it works. Mm, if I wanted to continue forward, I'd basically make my way to the end. But you know what? I'm not going to push it because knowing me, the last stage of this will take forever. Because, I'll just say this, the last stage of this game sucks. So I'll just end it here, and we have a short part next time, and I'll just get to the intro stage of Zeros, and then get ready for Zero Mission next time. But anyway, come back next time, and we're gonna finish off this, um, X Mission playthrough. I'll say this, the next two stages can be pretty rough. That's why I'm trying to hold them off for one episode. Because, <laughs> I know it gets bad. And it's painful how bad it gets. Like, it's some of the worst design, some of the worst level design in the Mega Man X series. It really is that bad. 